ESA space missions contribute concretely to addressing global challenges and ultimately benefit humanity. But we're not going back to the moon, we're going forward to the moon, meaning this time it's going to be a lot more challenging because we're not going to the moon just to come back, we're going there to stay. We want to stay to properly explore the moon this time, to understand what are the potential resources on the moon and also what it can teach us about our own planet. For our project in collaboration with the European Space Agency, we have designed a plan to allow the expansion and construction of a permanent settlement on the lunar south pole. It's the opportunity for not just us to explore what this moon base would look like, but how everybody in the world can go in now and experience it for themselves. And not just experience the moon base, actively built in a mini game, a full fledged moon habitat for a large community of astronauts. These are the actual models that we built for the European Space Agency that we took and worked with the team at Epic Games to make it into this Fortnite experience. One of the really exciting features about UEFN is that you can bring in your own assets. Because ESA already used the Unreal Engine for training astronauts, they had some assets already that they could give us for Unreal Engine and we could just bring those straight into UEFN. On the Moon's South Pole, we have craters that are in permanent, permanent shadow, which means they haven't been exposed to sunlight for, what, billions of years. Now, we think this permanent shadow it could have preserved water ice in these regions. And if you're going to run a moon base, a permanent moon base, you can use water to sustain life, but also to create fuel and other sources of energy. What we also need to learn in situ, resource utilization. Basically, it means you land on the moon and you find a lot of sand, and now you want to transform this sand into a resource. You want to extract something that can be oxygen, it can be water, and you also need to learn how to use the sand to make a moon base, a house on the moon. Because we'd spoken with the European Space Agency to learn about the different aspects of the mission that will actually happen as we go back to the moon, we were able to incorporate those into the gameplay. So for example, finding resources is one of the big challenges. And so we want to incorporate that into the gameplay. And the player has to go around learning, but also gathering resources, finding them on the moon, which will be a big challenge. And then the other thing the player is doing is that they're creating this habitat. They're putting it together module by module in the same way that a real mission might work. Another feature we used a lot was Verse. Verse is a programming language that's used to drive UEFN experiences. And we use that for lots of parts of this demo, whether it's spawning resources or tracking which places a player has been to, or when you have enough resources to build the habitat. We use Verse for all those kinds of things to really manage the whole experience. Other things that we could take advantage of were the lighting systems, but also the material systems. We could create very complicated materials that mirror the effect of real materials in real life, and also do things like particle effects to show the way that dust is kicked up by the rovers moving on the surface as well. Traditionally, when we design a new project, uh, it's only visible to the, either the client team or very select few people. Now, for the game to include our design means that our design is exposed to millions and millions of people at once. And people can also have a go to understand the challenges and the fun about how to design a moon base. For me, this is one of the most exciting things about Fortnite is it's a platform and an ecosystem where you can create a whole variety of content. Here at Epic, we're just really excited about pushing that further and thinking about how can we push this forwards? How can we bring whole new kinds of content to the huge audience that's already playing Fortnite?